Hello friends, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Kali Linux on the Raspberry Pi 3, so stay tuned. Hey guys, Azith here from Tech Fusion, and this is the episode number 3 of the Raspberry Pi series. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Kali Linux on this Raspberry Pi 3. So basically for those who don't know what is Kali Linux is, it is an operating system used by a network security specialist and that is basically used uh, for hacking uh, purposes and uh, it is based on the Linux and uh, with some extra tools. So those who are familiar with Linux can actually easily code on it and uh, get used to Kali Linux. So the point of installing Kali Linux on the Raspberry Pi 3 is the Raspberry Pi 3 is very portable and you can just take it anywhere and you can plug it and play. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Kali Linux on the SD card of the Raspberry Pi 3 and I'm going to be giving you the overview of first boot of Kali Linux on the Raspberry Pi 3. So let's go. So guys, first of all, you need the Raspberry Pi. I am using the Raspberry Pi 3, the latest version. Then you need a micro SD card. Uh, I am using the SanDisk uh, 16 GB micro SD card and it should be a minimum of class 10. You can also use a 8 GB memory card. Then the next thing you need is a micro SD card reader, which uh, you can connect it to your computer or your laptop so that you can write the operating system on your micro SD card. So now as you have the materials, now let's go and install Kali Linux on the SD card. So guys, now I have connected the SD card to the computer and I have to check for the drive of the SD card. So here the drive of the SD card is F drive and uh, I'll need to download three softwares. So the link of all the softwares are given in the description below. So I'll open SD formatter. Now select the drive F, click on option and format size adjustment on on. Click OK and click format okay okay so now the sd card will be formatted so now open another software known as win32 disk image here you will have to select the drive f then click on this button and you will have to browse for the iso file of the kali linux this file link is also given in the description. Click open and click write. Yes. So this will take a long time for, of around 20 to 30 minutes depending upon the speed of your computer. So after the installation is done, just remove it. So guys now you can see as I have connected this Raspberry Pi with my TV through the HDMI cable. I have uh, plugged it into a USB power charger by a mobile charger. Then I have a wireless uh, keyboard and I have connected to a mouse. So let's start with the boot. So as you can see the first boot will take some little time and it is installing its drivers. So this is the first boot of the Kali Linux on the Raspberry Pi 3 and uh, we have the login id page so the default username is root and the password is tour e double o r hit enter so this will take a little bit of time so we will use a default configuration only. And uh, as you can see, all the applications from there are on the left corner. And uh, currently there are no applications in here. But uh, you can just 
enter a command in the terminal and later to get these applications. You can just uh, install any application and uh, you'll get almost all of them in the setup. So uh, to get an application you or any tool, you have to just type this command apt get install. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel if you are new to this. And uh, if you want more Raspberry Pi videos, then make sure to comment down below. And also comment down if you want uh, Carlin Linux videos uh, on this channel. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Again, this is Asit Doshi, and you are watching Tech Fusion.